Welcome to Wilderness Escape. I'm here to give you a sneak peek at this incredible Bible Times experience. We're at the Wilderness Escape Field Test, where families are testing out each and every part of this unique program. Come on in, I'll show you around. First, your family will join a group named after one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Each tribe has a leader who guides discussions and leads a group during the week. And every tribe has its own unique color to wear. That way, you always know where your group is. You can wear these things so many ways. After meeting up with their tribes, everyone gathers around for upbeat worship at celebration. The music is well, you just gotta hear it for yourself. There's power, there's wonder working power. There's power, there's power, there's wonder working power. Whatever it is, I know you'll see me through. Each tribe gets together for about 15 minutes of tribe time. They'll remember the daily Bible verse and plan a mission to do in the Israelite camp. Each day's mission will be a super easy way to show someone God's love. Tribes look at the schedule to see when they'll visit each part of Wilderness Escape. And everyone gets gold to spend. Egyptian gold, that is. Believe it or not, when the Israelites escape from Egypt, the Egyptians gave them gold. Tribes will use these in the Israelite camp as a way to thank the tent hosts. Yes, time to go shopping. Tribe time is also where kids and adults talk about God sightings, evidence that God is with us in everyday life. Talk about eye-opening. You know, we all forget that the same God who was with Moses so long ago is still active today. Kids and adults write their God sightings on paper footprints that they add to a huge map. By the end of the week, you'll see how God is with you every step of the way, every single day. Half of the tribes go to the Israelite camp first. In the Israelite camp, you'll find about 10 tents to visit. Living in each tent is a tent host, one of the Israelites who's just escaped from Egypt. These friendly hosts are eager to teach kids and adults a Bible time skill. Families can explore things like butter making, sand art, and even baking. One thing kids love is they get to choose where to go. The tribe will split into two groups. One will go with the tribe leader, one will go with the assistant tribe leader. If a tent is full, there's always another tent nearby, and by the end of the week, they'll have visited each and every shop. Me? I'm headed to the sandal maker. There's weaving, music, sandal making, and camp cleaning. I did the butter. It's pretty fun because you have to like shake it up so much. I really just like everything. We're at Operation Kid to Kid Oasis, where families are discovering how to bring clean drinking water to needy kids in India. Now that is a lot of water. In India, Kids have to wait in long lines to get a simple bottle of clean water to have at school, which makes them late for school. Plus, waterborne disease can keep kids out of school completely. Kids at Wilderness Escape will donate money for Operation Kid to Kid. 10 quarters will provide enough clean water for one child in India for a whole year. Plus, it will pay for a clean place for kids to wash their hands at school too. When kids bring in their coins, they'll add a balloon to the giant glass display. Before long, your cup will be overflowing with a reminder that you're making a life-changing difference in thousands of lives overseas. And kids will make a folded paper cup that they can really use long after VBS ends. The best part of the Israelite camp is that families get to slow down and hang out together while working on some pretty unique projects. I mean, when was the last time you just slowed down and spent time with your family face to face? No readers, remotes, MP3s, CG, IM, Wi-Fi. I mean, this is the only tablet around here. 
Each tent host plays the role of someone who might have escaped with Moses and the Israelites long ago. It was so hard for them to trust God on a daily basis, even when they saw his mighty miracles. Sounds a lot like us today, doesn't it? You'll get to see kids stand up for their faith and encourage others to trust God. One fourth of the tribes go to fun and games and have a blast running, cheering, and trying out some low tech, high fun games. Another group of tribes stop off at the Moses tent every day. This is the place. Moses' tent. Moses actually lives here. The Moses. You know the guy with the staff and all? The one that talked to God? He made miracles with God's powers. And he is going to tell us what it was like. God faithfully leads us with a cloud. He shows us right where we're supposed to go with a cloud and at night with a gigantic pillar of fire. There's also a whiny Israelite who's always worried about what's going to happen next. Tribes will try to help Moses remind this guy that God is going to take care of everything. Yes, God. Why do you people do that? <laughs> I wish God would give us some food. He's going to need a lot of convincing. Visiting Moses will really make the Bible fresh and new for everyone. These are stories you may have read before, but you've never really thought about or experienced like this. After everyone rotates through those three stations, it's time to head home for 15 minutes of tribe time. And this part gets really fun. This time, tribes talk about the key Bible verse and how it connects with our lives today. Then the celebration leader will guide everyone in using some surprising gizmos and toys to tell about how we can trust God today. Get ready for lots of laughter and memorable conversation. Finally, everyone gathers again for more of those awesome worship songs. It really is a celebration of God's power and love. So that's your wilderness tour. You're gonna love getting totally immersed in the Bible. Just watch what it does for your faith and the faith of your family. <laughs>